welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing you a look with for eyeshadow for fall and it's only with ColourPop colors. You can order ColourPop online. I usually order www.colourpop.com. They have really inexpensive and good quality makeup. And it's like $5 I think or $6 for a an eyeshadow um, so I'm gonna put together a fall look I'm sorry for my hair I just threw it up because I got excited about taping a fall look and honestly I put a shirt on that I thought would be cute with this and I'm wearing my workout pants <laughs> and some socks under because you know it's just what you can see right um, so I'm going to show you a fall look using ColourPop eyeshadows. Knox, stop grunting. This is so important to me. So these are ColourPop. Knox. These are all ColourPop eyeshadows. They're like five or six dollars. ColourPop.com and there are matte colors. There are super shock shadows that have um, a sheen. This one is broken, but I'm still going to use it because I think it will be a cute fall look. So, as, oh, I have to tell you. I already have my foundation on. It, I love the coverage. It's by Rihanna. It's the Fenty from the Fenty line. Um, it's shadow number 290. So if you're close to my skin and you want to know what color you should get or should not get, depending on your opinion of it, then I just cracked myself up. Sorry. Okay. So, oh my gosh. Okay, sorry about that. Let me move this towel while I'm at it. This is just bad. Okay, um, so I'm gonna start with a primer. And today, I'm not using a ColourPop primer, but this is an Urban Decay Anti-Aging Eyeshadow Primer Potion. It is clearly from a sample. So I'm going to put this on the lids. I love collecting samples, especially for going out of town. You don't have to, if you, if you are flying, it's just something easy um, that you don't have to take a full container. You can just take the sample. And I can literally, I have skills when it comes to um, making a sample last for a whole week. Like I can probably make this last a year, no joke. But this Urban Decay, it's a really good primer. I'm going to um, begin by going and getting my makeup brushes for the love of Okay, so I have the primer on. I went and got my brushes. I think midway I'll have something else that I've forgotten, but it's okay. Um, so I'm going to start with Hanky Panky. And this is like a taupey color. So I'm going to go all over the lid with this. You know, when I start making more money, I'm gonna get another camera to go over here so you can see the other side. <laughs> okay, have this on my eyelids. It's just a little color. It's gonna build the other colors that I'm gonna put on my lids. So my next shadow that I'm gonna go in with is gonna be all over the lid also. And this is a super shock shadow in the color Muse. I don't guess you have to see the name of it. If I, you can just take my word for it. But it's a really pretty rose goldy color. So I'm gonna go all over the lid with this. I mean, I could stop here. It is so pretty.
and I'm sorry in advance because my I have a chunk of my eyelash extensions that are missing and I promise I have an appointment but you know it's, it's not today oh I think I'm funny <laughs> okay now I'm not going yeah no I'm not ready I'm gonna go under the eyelid with the same color Muse and I think for brown eyes especially for me because I have like a honey brown like a yellowy brown eye and I think that pink really complements and brings out the gold or the yellow part in my eye see <laughs> So, I've got this all over, and really you can stop here. I mean, I think that this is a pretty look. Rose gold and black, I think, together are gorgeous. So now I'm gonna take this, um, oh, it's an empty brush. So I'm using this blending brush and I'm gonna go into this shadow that is crumbled and it is called La La. And I'm gonna take La La into the contours of my eyes and I'm actually going to wet the brush with Fix Plus. And I'm gonna tap into the lid because it's broken and I'm not sure how this is going to work. So I'm just blending it in the corners, in the crease. It's gonna be a dramatic eye look for fall. The other side needs more. Cutting, which I've not purchased a highlighting color from ColourPop yet. Okay, so this is extremely shimmery. And then I'm going to go in with mittens. And I'm just gonna hit the outside just a little bit to give it a little bit of definition. Don't be afraid to feather it out, even if you can't see what you're doing. I mean, it, it can come all the way out to the edge of your eyebrow. And if you wanna make it a more dramatic effect, then just go ahead and stretch it out further than that. There's no rules with makeup. I don't believe in them. Okay, my final step for this look is, well, for the eye part is, since the eyeshadow is played up and it's all a shimmery color, I'm gonna take some of this MAC, and this is a mixing medium, and I'm going to put a little bit on my finger now, and I'm going to rub it in and dab it on my eyelids. And this just gives a wet look. I think that a wet look is pretty for fall. I think it's pretty for any season. Um, if you're doing in the summer for a glowy, bronzy look, I think that the wet look looks pretty. And my dog's fixing to start barking. Okay, I'm gonna top this look off with ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade VIP. You could also do a nude lip. I'm always for a nude lip. And 
then I'm going to top it off with a lip topper by Jouer. And then for this look, I'm going to lift the Anastasia Beverly Hills, but I'm going to use this shade, Tourmaline. And I just did Tinted Moonstone. You can mix the colors. So this gives that whole pinky fall look. Thank you for watching.